Techni techniques MK2. No. That's the brand or the model. Yeah, but aren't those the 1200s? 1200s MK2s. Yeah. yeah. 1200 yeah. Mark II. Yeah. 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 Those are, old girls are like legendary turntables for DJs. Are we getting this out of here? No, I think I like it where it is. It kind of shows that we're doing business because you can't really see this one. And this you can kind of see. What's up guys, Lou here. And today I'm hanging out with my friend Cruz. And he wanted to get involved in an unboxing video, which makes a lot of sense. It's exciting stuff. And so the next product in line, and also one that he's really excited for, and I'm really excited for, and hopefully you're really excited for, is this Project Audio Essential 2 turntable. So we can finally play back and listen to the Daft Punk record that I recently unboxed and apparently sounds really good on vinyl. We also have this little phono box right here. Uh, you probably can't see too much, it doesn't say very much on the box itself, but this takes the line out, or not line out, but the uh, phono out from your turntable and turns it into a line level so you can feed that into speakers or into your computer. This one has digital as well, so there's a USB port on it. If you want to rip the audio that you're getting from the record or listen through your com computer for some reason, but mostly I'm going to be listening through the new audio engine speakers that I unboxed two videos ago. So anyways, very excited to take a closer look and to finally fully enter the world of vinyl. Let's do it. Cruz, you want to do the honors, man? Wow. Yeah, I'll get into this. All right, see what you got, man. This is no easy job. I, well, I th trying to figure out how to open this thing. <laughs> show, look, show them on the camera. I'm trying to open this up here. Okay, let me show you. I think I got it. No, don't cut yourself, man. I got there it. Go. Okay, there we go. No, let me show you how to actually do it, though. Just because you can do oh. it, you're supposed to do it with one hand. Wow. Like that. Anyway. All right, here we go. Take it easy. Wow. Don't slice the product. Very nice. Perfect. Okay. Uh, these are the little belts for the drive. Yep. Oh, okay. This looks like it's just padded. No? Give me something. Something in there. This is the lid. The project turntables look so good without the lid on. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know? So I don't know if I'm gonna... It's a mandatory thing though. Everybody likes to have a little lid. Yeah. So this is to protect the turntable yeah. when, you're, when you're using it or not using it. Uh, but like I said, I really like the look of these turntables without the lid, so who knows? We'll see how I set it up. Let me hand that to you, Cruz. Got it. This is a two-man operation. I could get used to this. It's like a, an operation, you know, when you're doing surgery. Yeah, a scalpel. It's scalpel. It's always scalpel whenever you're talking about surgery. It's true. Scalpel first. Surgery, cutting. You're not getting anything done without the scalpel. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's the turntable, guys. You can see it's black. As I said before, this is the Essential 2. So it's an entry-level turntable. If you're just getting into the world of vinyl, they sell significantly more expensive models. I can get this out. Get that out of the way. Yeah, you can just move it and bring that box back. So I think this one's around $299, but I will link it down in the description. And one of the cool things about the Project Audio stuff is you can get it in a lot of different colors. And so, of course, I've gone for boring black. Uh, but, I mean, black can really goes with anything, right? So, it's a smart choice. But anyways, they've got red, yellow. Wow, this is like a lot more minimalistic than I Hugely figured. minimalistic. The project debut was featured in the Daft Punk unboxing video that they did for the vinyl of Random Access Memories. but they featured the white debut, I believe. Now the debut is a little bit more money, it's about a hundred something more. But if you're just getting started in the world of, of vinyl, you might not need to spend that much money. Spend the money on records, and you can always upgrade. I, I believe these things hold their val value relatively well, because there's a lot of collectors and people getting into the record game, connoisseurs, if you will. Okay, so here's the turntable. Uh, this is an important component, the arm, which will deliver the cartridge. Now, they do come with different cartridges depending on how much money you spend. This one is the OM5E, and each cartridge sort of has different characteristics for different kinds of music. So, as you become a more sophisticated listener, uh, theoretically, you could 
decide on different cartridges, try different cartridges, etc. I know you have to balance this thing before you use it. I'm gonna go watch some YouTube videos to make <laughs> sure I do that correctly. That's the beauty of YouTube. Here you can see the uh, standard phono out along with a ground cable. Mm -hmm. And over here is your power switch on the side. Now the tray here, this, this should lift off, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, there you go. That's, that's, that's it. Unbelievably <laughs> simple. But that's, that's why these things are so popular. Because of how simple they look. I guess we can put this on. Mm -hmm. Real quick. Now obviously guys, as you can tell, we are major amateurs right here. So you're gonna have to stick around to the channel and see how we make out getting this all set up and, uh, and becoming connoisseurs, because we're obviously not yet. And so take nothing that we say here as gospel. Right, Cruz? That's right. This box, I'm assuming, is the power adapter. Oh, and this is the, this oh, the counterweight. Counterweight, yeah. So there's a power adapter as well, guys. This is, uh, looks like interchangeable tips, depending on where you are in the world. I push that down. Well, that's the one I want, so I don't want to remove it, but you'll see that there's also some other ones there. European tip and UK. That's the UK. Let me know in the comments, but, oh, it probably says on it. No, it doesn't say, but I believe that's the UK. Let me know if I'm wrong. Uh, also, yeah, like I said, this little counterweight here, and this goes on the back of the arm, and that's how you are able to distribute the right amount of weight down onto the record. That's right, yeah. So that the uh, needle doesn't skip mm -hmm. and whatnot. So anyways, I'm fully willing to admit that this is new <laughs> to me. You guys are experiencing the, the true first impressions and unboxing in this video. We've obviously uh, got to go hook this thing up and, and play around, listen to some records, and then I'll be back with another video. Okay, let's open up the next part. Now this one is a little bit more familiar for individuals like myself who live in the digital world. That's right. On a regular basis. Where'd that knife go? Right here. Perfect. All right. Still don't know. Still don't know. You gotta put oh. like that, yeah. I'm always worried when I give this knife to people that they're gonna cut their hand open and I'm gonna be responsible. The problem is the opening and closing. No, but it, it's actually quite safe if you know if it, you know what you're doing. That's right. You know? And it's a really compact package. It's, it's pretty cool, but anyway. A lot of people have asked about that knife in the past. Okay, so this is the Phonobox USB. And it does come in a non-USB version, which is about 20 bucks cheaper, I believe. Everything that you're seeing today is gonna be linked in the description, but uh, there is a non-USB version, which is a little bit cheaper if you're not interested in the digital output. But I think for the 20 bucks, might as well get it. Maybe you wanna get into sampling, music production, something like that. Mm -hmm. You have that option. Lots of foam in here. Wow, that's a pretty cool looking box. So there's the box itself. Go ahead and... Don't you love the way these components look? That feels, that looks robust. Yeah. It's heavy too. Oh yeah. So you've got a gain knob on the top here. I'll show you guys there. Nice smooth turn. A few buttons. A few buttons that are unidentified, but I'm sure I'll figure them out. And on the back is a lot of the important stuff. Post for our ground, as well as a line in, phono in, a USB, MCMM. I should know what that means. Look at That's this handwritten. Handwritten serial I number. I was gonna say. Crazy. Also, uh, you've also got your RCA outs. This is what'll go into your amplifier or into your speaker. And then you have your power connector here. I assume the power brick is in here. It's always in the biggest box. Yep. Although it's a smaller power brick than the other one. Once again, you've got the uh, geography of the planet represented through power. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, Maybe. We'll go with it. No quotables today. Standard. Mini USB to USB. You've seen one of these before. Oh yes. You probably charged. I have them. like four of them. I bet you charged a Blackberry using this at one yeah. time in your life. I bet you charged a controller on a PlayStation using this. Yeah. PlayStation yeah. 3. Nostalgia. Mm -hmm. 
Are you excited to go test this thing out? Let's do it. I think when it comes to vinyl, you, you are supposed to listen to the whole record. Start to finish. Start to finish, outside mm -hmm. to inside, kicking it old school, just like we've never heard it before. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go do that, guys. Give Cruz a thumbs up down below. He didn't want to do this video. Look <laughs> at him, he's not happy right now. I said, come on, man, we can do it. Uh, a cooperative unboxing video, yeah. a collaboration, a Daft Punk fan. Oh, that yes. should be enough for you guys. Thanks as always for watching. I will catch you very shortly on a demonstration of the Project Audio Essential 2 as well as the Phono, USB Phono box, digital, analog. Hopefully this sounds as good as I expect it to. Thanks again, later guys.